on Five News, a new phase of the vaccination programme today for airports as harsh restrictions on UK travellers come into force. Hello and welcome to Five News. I'm Danny Sinha. It was a hugely ambitious target and today it's been met. Everyone in the UK's top four priority groups has been offered a COVID jab. In all, 15.3 million people have had one. The Prime Minister called it a significant milestone. But already the focus is shifting to what happens next. Dozens of Tory backbenchers have urged him to end lockdown by May, when the next priority groups have been reached. But Boris Johnson says when the rules are lifted, it'll be done cautiously, so they never have to return. Vincent McAvinney reports. She's at Westminster for us and what does the government have to consider as it prepares to set us all out on its roadmap? Well, Just bring you the daily coronavirus update and the daily numbers continue to fall. In the last 20 well, Downing Street is urging care home staff to get their vaccinations after the health so, as the debate turns to lockdown rules, a new one has come into force today. The first travellers from overseas have been checking into quarantine hotels. In England, it's for people arriving from one of 33 COVID hotspots. In Scotland, it applies to arrivals from all countries. Wales and Northern Ireland have no direct international flights. Well, in a moment, we can join... Nail now. The government says the system is running smoothly. What does Heathrow Airport have to say, though? Well, as we've said, Scotland is forcing travellers from all countries to stay in a quarantine hotel. Nicola Sturgeon says it's because dangerous COVID variants could be circulating everywhere without being detected. But what if people decide to fly into England first and cross into Scotland another way? Well, it's a loophole that Scottish ministers say they're keen to close. Here's Alan Jenkins. Now, Alan, what's been the impact of these new quarantine rules on flights coming into Scottish airports then? Coming up on Five News. Welcome back. The father of missing chef Claudia Lawrence has died without ever knowing what happened to her. Peter Lawrence, who was 74, spent the last years of his life tirelessly campaigning to find his daughter. She disappeared in York back in 2009. In a statement, her family described their sadness, but said the message remained, where is Claudia? Peter Lane reports. Next, royal baby fever is heading to the US. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have announced they're expecting their second child. Harry and Meghan, who live in Los Angeles, say they're overjoyed that they haven't revealed whether it'll be a brother or sister for Archie, who turns two in May. Our royal correspondent Simon Vigar reports on the happy news. Now, you can get almost anything delivered to your door these days. Thanks to one imaginative former bar manager, it includes pints of beer. George Dean from London has turned an old van into a pub on wheels. And he pours beer and Prosecco for thirsty punters on their doorstep. Stephanie Prentice went to meet him. Hey, customer. Great idea. Well, Claudia Liza is here to tell us what's coming up next. Hi, Hi Danny. Yeah, well, we are going to be talking about, I think, the question many people are asking, really, when might lockdown come to an end, but also how soon should we relax restrictions? I'll be discussing that with a scientist and someone who represents the hospitality industry. And Great news, isn't it? It is good news. I think they're going to be excited about it. But yes, yeah. Thank you. Fabulous. Thank you very much, Claudia. Well, just before we go, uh, some recognition for a political figure who's marking a milestone, Larry the Cat. That's it from us. Claire has got the weather next. I'll see you again soon. Good night.